field guide. I'm most pleased being here. Oh, it's you! Just the person. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William, the one I told you about after charms class. He's he's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listened. I'm sorry, how exactly? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our... I'm so sorry. That's... How... I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughed. Well, it is an unusual situation. It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor, Marmaduke Dale. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. And to prove his point, he went right up to the end. How awful. I can see why you're upset. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still... And no one deserves such a fate to last for... Now I worry that if the curse... Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. But you battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade. Escape... Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for... Oh, thank you. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke... According to my research, you'll find it just east of that. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Rebellion. Telling what lies in wait for me in there. Rebellion. Well, my feet didn't turn into beats. That's a good start. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Rebellion. Ha! 
incendiary. A troll? You can't be Confringo! A sarcophagus? That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Rebellion! Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Nice to see you, my young friend. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest. I thought as much. I received word from... Oh, I cannot thank you. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been... Indeed he was. Well... Of course. I certainly... William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did.
Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you. I suppose so. Shall we begin? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. Revelio. <laughs> You didn't see that. Akio. A remarkable shot. Well, it appears I've been bested. Diving, Summoner's Court, seems there's nothing you can't do. You played a good game, though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Only one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Revelio. <laughs> Need I remind you that you are studying at Hogwarts and not the three broomsticks? You'll never become an aura at this rate. So get your head out of your butter there and get your You'll never believe what I... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. 
You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fit. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem prom... Everything to do with Salazar Slytherins. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot.